Uh, my name's Brendan Cowell and I'm the writer-director of Reuben Guthrie. My name is Reuben Guthrie and... Is it compulsory to wear Kmart tracksuits or is it just coincidence? Reuben! Yes, Mum. It's Mum. Reuben Guthrie is a black comedy about binge drinking. It's about an uh, ultra-successful, good-looking, you know, 30-something male who called Reuben who works in advertising and He's kind of, um, you know, at the top of his game. He's got a, you know, a Czech supermodel girlfriend. He lives on the water. Um, but he pushes it to the limit. And then one day after winning another award in Cannes, he jumps off the roof at a party at his own house into the pool, but he kind of misses the pool, nearly dies. And then his um, fiance kind of says to him, you know, she's had enough. And she says, if you take a year off, I might have you back. Um, so then he realises he's kind of, you know, lurching ominously towards a brick wall in his life um, and then tries to take a year off. But the thing is, Australia has a very rigorous drinking culture and when you say I'm not drinking, it's a crime worse than murder. You know, people just don't let you. Uh, so he finds, you know, just trying to do this simple thing of getting his substance out of his life changes his whole entire life. His dad won't see him without a drink in his hand. His best friend, who's kind of his partner in party and crime, comes back from America and... He kind of turns into this new age guru at the same time, doing all these self-help kind of AA stuff. But at the same time, his old life is coming to kind of, kind of trying to draw him back. So it's about kind of trying to change in a lot of ways. Let's get smashed! I don't know how you're still alive. You remember Laura? You're the most talented creative director Pats has ever had. You know the rules, Ruben. You have house party, I go hotel. Well, it's very much, I mean, it's not autobiographical, but I had a year off myself after some incidents and trying to save a relationship, trying to work out what my relationship with it was, um, and a lot of funny and terrifying kind of realisations came out of that year. I kept a kind of diary, I wrote down, you know, all the insane things people said to me and, and was just kind of alarmed at how big a deal it actually was to other people. Um, once I got used to it, it was fine, but to other people, like, you can't do that. Just have one drink, what are you doing? Just, who are, you know, it was an, an insult. I would have been better off sleeping with their wife, you know, and they would have gone, look, we all make mistakes, but this was like horrendous. Um, so I thought, what does this say about Australia? And, and in a lot of ways, you know, we have a tall poppy syndrome in Australia where anyone who kind of pops their head out or pretends to be better than someone else, we, we quickly kind of, um, you know, kind of tear them down, which I think happens very much in the British culture as well. But um, I, I kind of wanted to make a film about, hey, if people do want to change, why can't we get behind them and go, good on you, try to be different, do something else. Uh, why do we put our own kind of needs in front of that? And why does someone giving up drinking throw such a mirror up to a culture, you know? So I wanted to make a really entertaining film because alcohol is funny, um, but at the same time, it's not funny at all, you know? So I kind of wanted that beauty and ugliness, that comedy and tragedy to kind of rub up against itself. Ad guy jumped off the roof pissed. Hot girlfriend left. <laughs> you think this is funny? I mean meetings now, Zoya. You go to one meeting, and now you're drinking the champagne. I'm celebrating my first meeting. Uh, Patrick's kind of, he wasn't in by any means my uh, first set or second kind of idea uh, for who should play the role. Um, but he was just kind of, the film fell over a few times and then when it seemed to be getting back up on its feet, he was just kind of on fire um, at that time and he's so funny and he's so charming um, and he also hosts film nights and things like that um, in Australia and, uh, and I, when I watched him kind of host, host an awards night it was that more than his acting and I thought he could walk into Coca-Cola after two hours sleep in front of a hundred people and sell them an ad you know and I thought I kind of want that guy he'll bring a really comic charming performance and then I'll, I'll get into him as the director and bring out the, the drama uh, to which he kind of blew me away every day how much depth he had but um, he's such a skilled actor and 
and I was grateful to him that he let me take him as far as I did, because uh, he, um, yeah, he really makes the film. I'll admit to favouring a drink. It's un Australian not to. Take one year off alcohol and come and find me in the snow, yes? Yes, yes. Oh! I'm off the sauce, man. We don't have to have ten, just have one. When did we ever just have one? Okay, let's have ten. I don't rehearse much, and then I rehearse a lot on set, and then I use steady cam, so I'm kind of just observing the actors, but I keep kind of marinating it till the actors are very exhausted. Um, and then they just start behaving and stop acting in a lot of ways and things become very natural um, and very underplayed. Um, and uh, he really responded to that style um, of direction and, and, and trusted me. And uh, because he's not, he doesn't have a lot in common with Reuben Guthrie Patrick at all, but that excites me with good actors. I, I like to get, a, get an actor and go, I want you to do this thing. And they're like, I've never done that. Well, you're a good actor, let's go. You'll find it, and then they find it and they go, oh, I can do that, can't I? Of course you can. Just no one ever gives you a chance. I'm much more interested in that than getting an actor to do their shtick or their, their bad guy who's also vulnerable or their obnoxious blonde girl or whatever it might be. It's much more interesting to subvert that and get them to find something else, you know. And, and um, yeah, Patrick was, he was fantastic and really led the, the orchestra in many ways, you know. This is not a moment in my life where I feel proud. I'm just taking it one day at a time. I don't think that's particularly ambitious, do you? One day at a time? Let's get pissed and catch up. Dad, what are you doing? Trying to bond my bloody son. You lost your edge, boy! I'm in such good shape. Your father and I have decided enough of these meetings. We want our son back. Oh. We opened Sydney Film Festival and in front of two and a half thousand people, the film just went off. Um, but you know, I've never made art that, that gets three out of five stars. I always make it that gets five or one. And I think those responses, are, they're equally as impassioned responses. And I think this, this really touches a nerve in Australia. And the fact that it's a comedy with a big smiley face on it, really pissed people off and um, so I think every response that I got was fantastic because the conversations really started. Um, people also had an, a really fun 90 minutes because it's so funny uh, but then on the drive home they go God that's us or that's my brother or that's my boss or that's you know I think it, it, it really kind of gives you something to chew on um, while seeming like a light night in the cinema you know so people we're not as used to kind of black comedy, perhaps, as you are here in, in the UK, which is why I think it might play well here. My name is Reuben Guthrie, and I am in advertising. You are a game changer, son, 100%. You change the game. Thanks, Ray.